Hi, today's movie is Scared to Death, the 1947 gothic thriller starring Bela Lugosi in his only colour film role. Now, I have never seen this film. I have never seen Bela Lugosi in colour. I don't really know what to expect. I'm hoping it's a nice vehicle for Bella. I do love Bella. Let's have a look and find out. in natural colour. I've never seen that before. I read that this was based on a play that was based on a real murder case. Ooh, straight into it. That's good. Is this body? Yes, Doctor. And the police are particularly anxious that the cause of death be determined at the earliest possible moment. It's a pity. She was a very beautiful woman. One hates to perform an autopsy on a beautiful woman. <laughs> and yet, one often wonders, what could have caused the last thought that was cut off by death? Huh? If it was spoken now, what would it be? What could have caused the last thought that was thought before death? You found me at last. But you know what you kill me. I won't. You. Don't come and I'll step. No, don't, please. Don't. Ah! No, no, I told you I didn't want the damage. What's that? Your heart's beating like a trip hammer. I must warn you that this high state of nervous tension. What's that noise? Women and their nerves. Women are always about to have a nervous breakdown. They're so fragile, and emotionally weak. Now, my dear Laura. But then the men in these films are always psychologically torturing them. I told you I'm not afraid of anything. I don't know. She wasn't this way until she began getting those letters from abroad, you remember? How come the yes, father and son have got completely different accents? But you would have thought that when they stopped coming, that okay. the way you were described to me and the way your place was described to me, I am certain that I am strong right eyebrow place. acting. May I ask from whom you... There has been no question of blackmail. I came here seeking your cooperation, which you have refused to give. So, let us call the matter closed. Thank you. Oh. Some of the actors in this film are not oh, good. Doctor. Then came this sinister pair. More sinister than the husband who wants to strangle you and the doctor who's threatening you? Bella! My little guardian of the door, then. If you had waited another second, Inigo and I should have kicked the door in. Yes, sir. I mean, sirs. Oh. Do not be polite to Inigo. He's only offended by it. Run along, Inigo. Make yourself at home. We got a nice tree in the yard, but it ain't got no coconuts. Ah! <laughs> Oh, that's horrible! Comparing him to a monkey just because he's short statured? Nothing to annoy my little friend. Is that supposed to be funny? Oh, inappropriate touching there, fella. A good suggestion. Thank you, Mr. Heyman. I won't be far away, Doc. <clears throat> Well, so long, Mr. Leonide. Don't pull any more little men out of your hat. <laughs> the mixture of broad comedy and suspense horror does not work in this film. No, the my boy. I can't. I wanted to see the old homestead again. Bella looks great in color. Yes, and he received me with open arms. I think this guy was in Freaks and a bunch of other movies. A gruesome surprise was in store for me the following morning. These linking narration bits are super clunky. I like that a dead woman is narrating the film. I stopped you before. Who is it? I'd like to know what you mean by that remark, ma'am. Oh, shut up and get out. Don't you want me to help you open No, it? I don't. Get out. It's addressed to you in green ink with a warning. Look out for the man with the green mask. 
I can't stand this comedy maid. Why can't they just play it either as a comedy or as a gothic thriller? I just don't think it works trying to do both. We're under the house. He's here in the house? Yes. I let him in. I let him in. He was waiting outside to get to you, Miss LaBelle. Miss LaBelle. The script so is eyes, terrible. Is you think you know everything, don't you? Excuse me, lady. <laughs> Why would you take a script like this, a kind of gaslight, you know, gothic thriller, and put in these vaudeville clowns? I just don't understand the thinking. Do they think it's too weak to be a thriller in its own? Or is it just terrible judgment? Doc, I'm worried. What about, Raymond? Well, now, take this head business. The whole thing don't seem hardly serious to me. I think that if it's all the same... I don't know if you've ever read um, The Art movies. of Course Acting, You're not afraid, but I'm pretty sure Raymond? this detective oh, me? has read The Art of Course <laughs> Acting. Too bad about you. You know, Lily Beth, I think somebody around here is just kidding. They don't These mean actors seem to all. just about well, know their lines. I'm guessing this was made in a real hurry. I wish you tip me off. That Lily Beth. I've been trying to get a cup of coffee off of her all day. She don't care what happens to my metabolism. Metabolism. That's a good word. I wonder this what it guy means. is terrible. Stop crowding me. But, hon, don't you want me around to Wasn't she in a blue dress just a minute ago? Like, yes, but who's going to protect me from you? Gee, I'd gladly work my fingers to the bone to, to buy you expensive motor cars and furs and The smell of ham in this scene is and, and overpowering. Times I think I'm not getting any You've got Bella you Lugosi at your disposal and you spend three quarters of the film on these clowns. All right, all right. You'll Why? Damning you shot it for the whole time the real murder got away. <laughs> <laughs> It's like all the characters are so acting in different styles, they like they belong fiasco. in different I'm movies. There's no what are you consistent doing tone Can to the acting in this movie. In peace? Here Who I come. These people? Well, they're all right, Doc. This is Terry Lee. This is like the film oh, no. equivalent the of going to see an under-rehearsed amateur Look, play. Nobody ever wants reporters, but then I don't know nothing about it. Oh, yes, you do. It was just about the same time that you had that affair with the dressmaker's dummy. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, now I remember, Terry. They're trying to destroy my mind, Mr. Lee. By innuendo and indirection, they're trying to make me believe I've done something to Indirection? Past. Is but that even a word? Horrible vengeance. I mean that she's dead, Raymond. Well, you can sure tell that this was based on a stage play because it is super stagey. Then I knew... Then he said, would I sit with Mrs. Van e? Okay, okay, where is she now? Even the music oh. is annoying. Mrs. Van e. Where did Remember, she go? you said you wanted to see what Mr. the life of a reporter was like. Don't forget, Mr. Lee, one must not expect too much of certain types of mentality. Shut up, Bill Raymond. more ham in this than a supermarket at Christmas time. <laughs> She's got we you can. there. All right. Now you tell me, what happened to you? Me? Oh, well, you said to stay outside the door and... I pulled up a chair. That's right. She was inside the door and you were outside. All right. Now that you're good and rested, let's see if we can understand what happened upstairs. Well, this movie's only an hour long and so far it's nothing but a bunch of terrible Sally's actors room? standing what around picture? in a room hamming well, it up. One with the couple with the Wake two... up! I refuse to answer on the grounds that my tender incriminator degrade me. <laughs> my unconscious mind. <laughs> Now look, Bill, please stay awake for a while. Now look, tell me, what happened? Even the actors are falling asleep. The... Yes. Standing there shaking in your boots. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? No. I don't even care well, what's happening. Shaking. I just want it to Go be on, over. Bill, this is your one yeah, right. Why would you cast what this cloddish vaudeville comedian and make him the star of the movie? Louis Beth. This may not be any news to you, but your daughter-in-law has disappeared. Oh, how dreadful. But let us say somewhat overdue. Hey, Mr. Lee? You don't seem very surprised to hear about it. Young man, when you've been devoutly praying for something to happen, you accept your good fortune without question. 
That's clever, telling a journalist that you hope your daughter-in-law is going to die and go missing. Is this movie done, aimed at kids? Because I can't imagine you, adults enjoying it. We just hope no explanations will be necessary. If you're expecting a Everything comedy, it's just not itself. funny. If you're expecting a gothic horror drama like I was, it's not that. I'd like to bore you with a few questions. You're boring me. I wouldn't mind the slightest idea of what you were looking for. Maybe if we start back to the time around midnight... I love how the doctor looks at his stethoscope like he's never seen or handled a stethoscope before. Are you inferring that I had anything to do Can with I all learn of to do that? Supposing Lily Beth was in the kitchen, could I telegraph her a wish for <sighs> a cup of coffee? cup of huh? coffee. How well, many times right. have we had this joke? when we have a little time, I'll... The principle of hypnosis isn't as simple as you would make them believe. It requires a long and patient study. But I will risk the rest of the unknown. I see you truly love this child. And for your sake, for your sake, I shall use my knowledge. Oh, gee, thanks, Professor. You're solid. Anyone who thinks Bela Lugosi is not a good actor needs to see him among these terrible actors. He's delivering a solid performance here. He's giving it everything he's got, even if the material is so far beneath him. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been an exciting night, and you all are deserving of some explanation and relaxation for the strange goings on. Relaxation? The guy who's doing the talking is what behind else? the wall somewhere. There's blood on it. There's blood. I have come back. I am here, and I will have my revenge. No! No, don't touch me! Ah! Yes. Rene was my assistant. I taught him everything he knows. He went out for himself and became a success. Later we met in a concentration camp. And here we are. A small world, Mr. Lee. A small world, indeed. Terry, isn't this the place where you get the marriage licenses? No, dear, this is the morgue, the morgue. Oh, darling, you say the cutest things. What does this all add up to, Doctor? Yes, let's have it. She was literally scared to death. Well, that was absolutely terrible. I think to call this movie a shit show would be unforgivably generous. I guess what upsets me about this film is it has the fantastic talents of Bela Lugosi and it absolutely squanders them on this complete mess of a movie. The story of this movie has the bare bones to be an okay gothic sort of psychological thriller. But why do they make it into this mishmash of thriller and really broad comedy? It doesn't work on either count. And the story doesn't even make sense. Why does Bela Lugosi um, and his assistant kill the woman in the end? Was her former dance partner who she gave over to the Nazis, Bela Lugosi's character's son? What is the connection? This is really one of the most half-assed movies I've ever seen. Everything about it is so slapdash. It seems under-rehearsed, people barely know their lines, like it was just made in a real rush. It really is like seeing a very poor amateur dramatics play. It's not a gothic thriller, it is not a comedy, it is just a terrible stinking mess. <laughs> and the smell that you can smell is the smell of ham. Now I am a huge fan of Bela Lugosi and I've loved him for many years. Is it worth watching this film just to see him in colour? I would say no, it's not, because the film itself is so poor and makes so little use of his great talents. He's really the only person who's delivering a committed performance in this film. I have this theory that one of the signs of a good director is that the film has a sort of unified tone to it. But in this film, it seems like every single actor is acting in a different style the styles clash, they do not work together, it doesn't work as a unified film. 
I can't recommend this film. It's not even so bad. It's good. It's just awful. And it does annoy me that poor Bella Lugosi had to lower himself to appear in something this terrible. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm sorry the film wasn't better. I hope you'll join me next time when perhaps we'll have a film that's much more entertaining than this one. I'll see you then. Bye.